So one of, the, one of the joys of doing this show for me is getting to finally watch movies that I have always been curious about but never bothered to watch. And one of those movies is definitely Penelope. <laughs> Penelope, if you're not familiar with it, is a sort of you know, early 2000s fairy tale-ish kind of a movie, although it's set in modern day, about a young girl who is born with a pig nose and has to find true love. That girl is played by Christina Ricci, um, who is fairly charming in this. Uh, you might remember Christina Ricci. She played, when I was growing up, she was uh, Wednesday Adams in the Adams Family movies. And then she sort of hung around for a while, did a few more roles. Um, this, is, uh, this is an acceptable role to me. She's pretty charming in this. Uh, again, the story is that her family years ago did a, were dicks to some sort of a witch or something, and so the witch laid on a curse that eventually a kid was going to get born with a pig nose. That's Christina Ricci, and if she can find true love, then she won't have a pig nose anymore, and the movie is all about learning to love somebody for who they are inside and ignoring the fact that they have a pig nose. Christina Ricci is fairly charming in this. Like I said, this is at least before she started taking, uh, let's call them sexier roles, like in Sleepy Hollow, uh, more objectified roles, which given that this is an actress that we wa kind of watched grow up, those roles are really kind of troubling. James McAvoy plays the scamp who starts out trying to love Christina Ricci for the wrong reasons, only to fall in love with her for real. And then the real surprise of the movie is Christina Ricci's eventual BFF is played by Reese Witherspoon. So if you can imagine a world and a reality wherein Reese Witherspoon is second banana to Christina Ricci, that's the movie we have here. Again, nothing against Christina Ricci. It's just in this early Reese Witherspoon role, you can already see which of these two is going to be a big star and which, you know, really isn't. Again, a fairly charming movie, not the greatest thing I have ever seen in my life, but an enjoyable diversion nonetheless. Three stars. <laughs>